Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Peter Villiers. This is Dr. Anne Rien. She's also a vet. And in today's video, we are going to demonstrate how to muzzle a dog. So why would you want to muzzle a dog? Well, first, obviously, if they are aggressive, whenever you need to try and handle them, when you need to do a certain procedure, sometimes when they are very anxious and a bit unpredictable and you're not sure how they would react to a certain procedure, and simply sometimes even when they are injured and you need to take them to the vet. An injured dog is unpredictable as they can be very self-defensive and will sometimes bite you if you touch at a place where it's very sore and that can cause injury to both you and your animal. So it's just a way to protect both yourself and the dog and it's quite simple to do. You don't need any fancy stuff. Some people have the basket muzzles which works the most effectively because that allows the dog to breathe normally and to drink water and to be able to eat. In today's video I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to demonstrate using some crepe bandage but you can basically use just a tie or any piece of cloth. Just keep in mind the thinner the material the more easily it can hurt the dog because if you pull it very tight it can actually injure the skin. So the thicker the material, the better. So a tie, for example, would work perfectly fine. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a little knot at the top end. This is the part we're gonna put over the dog's muzzle. Uh, some dogs will be very aggressive when approached from the front. So it might sometimes be better to come from the back as they will not expect it. So Zuria is a very patient and calm girl. So this shouldn't be too difficult, but if you have a very anxious or aggressive dog, it might be easier to come from the back. So the first step is to just gently get this over the, the mouth, pull it tight, cross over at the bottom, make another little knot, pull it tight, and then go back around the ears, make, oops, make another knot, make sure you don't tie the ears together and then just make a quick re release knot. This is only a temporary solution. The dog is a little bit uncomfortable, but they can still breathe normally. Don't do this in an unconscious dog or a dog that is seizuring that might vomit because they can aspirate that and with the mouth closed like this, that can lead to injury. Um, but usually when we apply this to dogs, they also get a little bit calmer and then they can allow us to do the procedures. So when you want to remove it, just pull on one of the loose ends and then just gently pull away and yeah, and that's it. I'm also going to demonstrate on a smaller dog just so you can get a better idea of what that will look like as well. All right, so this is Gracie. I'm just going to demonstrate on a smaller dog as well. So you make the knot, approach the muzzle, put it over, pull it tight, cross over at the bottom make another knot around the ears pull it nice and tight and make a quick release knot this way the dog is secure and again if you want to remove it just pull on one of the loose ends and then gently pull it off and that's basically it if the dog is very tolerant of the procedure, give them a treat afterwards. Um, it's usually something to, to make them a bit more comfortable with. <laughs> and if you guys like this type of tutorials, then make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more of these tutorials in the future, then please subscribe so that you don't miss out. You must have a lack of day and I'll see you next week in another video. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.